Dreams do come true. Got it going, get them down, cut it down, cut it down. Dreams do come true. Today, our guests define themselves as guys who just love food and have a desire to feed the streets. Please welcome chefs Malachi Spank Jenkins and Roberto News Smith. So, what is this plate right here called? I know y'all whipped this up in the kitchen earlier for us, but can y'all explain to the people what this is called and how did y'all make it? Heaven and the pineapple. It's a pineapple bowl right there, man. It's called a pineapple bowl? Yeah. And what's all in it? Um, rice, preferably jasmine rice, teriyaki sauce, chicken, shrimp, we use uh, lobster, crab, we use salmon, but you can top it with uh, green onions, sriracha, Mm. A little bit more teriyaki sauce, um, some sesame seeds, sesame some pineapple seeds. pieces. Yeah. Wow. And can you eat the pineapple as well, or is that just um, something to hold it in? We tend to put them on there, you know what I'm saying? But everybody don't like pineapple, yeah. so we just, it was just a creative thing I found. Um, that was at the fair one time, you know what I'm saying? The Orange County Fair when mm -hmm. I was a kid. But it was like kind of bland, you know what I'm saying? So I was like, Always wanted to make it, but was kind of scared to make it. And so I theirs was like this, right. but it didn't taste good. It just, yeah, it was just kind of some grilled pieces of chicken and some. They give you some little teriyaki sauce on the side. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We not stingy with the sauce, as you can see. I see. It's it's draped, and then you got hot sauce on there with some green onions. This look mighty delicious. I can't eat it right now because I'm all dressed up. So I'm gonna have to put this on the side. Don't wanna mess up that right white here. Shirt. Yeah, you, yes, sir. You fly? For everybody at home that's watching, can you explain what Trap Kitchen is and what it means to you guys? Trap Kitchen is an underground social media restaurant. You know what I'm saying? It's not, it's open to the public, but not really open to the public. You know what I'm saying? And we went in different locations, but the main thing is food. You know what I'm saying? And that's our main goal is to reach as many people as we can through the streets. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't have to be on a raw scale. Word of mouth, you know what I'm saying? It's like past the, the word fastest out. way. It's the fastest way, you know what I'm saying? It's better than anything. And uh, the way social media is set up now, it's like instant, you know what I'm saying? If somebody see it, it doesn't have to go through six people to find out where that's at, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? They can call in themselves, you know what I'm saying? Like um, the, the word trap means take risk and prosper, you know what I'm saying? And that's what we did with this whole idea of making this restaurant. I mean, you know what I'm saying? Just becoming catering. Everything we do is taking a risk, you know what I'm saying? And you don't know if it's going to work or not, you know, but, um, yeah, that's the trap kitchen, man. How did you guys come together, even though, you know, y'all from the same city but different hoods? Who who took the initiative to bring you guys together to start tra Trap Kitchen? People from our neighborhood got relatives from his neighborhood, and they brought us together, like, you know what I'm saying? Because they mm -hmm. was cousins, blood cousins, you know what I'm saying? And, um... We started hanging out, we knew mutual girls, so we started hanging out. I thought he was cool, he was like an older brother figure to me, you know what I'm saying? I'm fresh out. He was a hustler, fly, he had a two-door truck, you know mm. what I'm saying? Always had all the girls. Oh, so you older than him? Yeah. yeah. Older than him, bro. Y'all yeah. both from Compton though, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So we, I kept in contact with him, you know what I'm saying? From there on to here, to now. You know, like, we got tight over the years. Bro was hustling, you know what I'm saying? So I was trying to put some money in with him, see what he had going on. So we right. just, you know what I'm saying? It was a brand new year. And he was like, bro, why don't you uh, try to let's sell some food? Let's see what it's like, you know? I'm like, yeah, because he sell clothes on. He was using Instagram to sell clothes, watches, all, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So why not put the, put the plate on the Instagram and offer it for sale? So we like, all right, let's try it. All we can do is, we, you know what I'm saying? All we can do is try, you know what I'm saying? So we tried it, man. We had made a shrimp and chicken enchilada pie. Black beans and Spanish rice. What? And um, I made it f and, um, for $8. So I put the post up, put the caption, like, you know, if you want this, text into this number, you get the location. And immediately people started texting in, they pulled up, got the plate, and we had made like two, three hundred dollars in like, in like um, two hours. Y'all made two hundred dollars in two hours? Like two, three hundred dollars, yeah. And we didn't spend nothing. Uh, on really? a chance, you know what I'm saying? On a chance, and it just worked, like. And that shit blew my mind, so I got addicted to that shit. Feel me? Do you guys see yourselves going into the restaurant business, or yeah, y'all want to keep it yeah, hands on? We want to keep it hands on, but I definitely believe, I like think we're gonna open up a restaurant somewhere, 
specifically specifically in LA. Well, the restaurant have that trap vibes to yes. it still. So it has to keep the same nature. Mm. Yeah, underground. I want you to have the ring and doorbell to get in. <laughs> yeah, you gotta get buzzed in. You, know I like you gotta make that. spaces or something. Hey everyone, lunch is here back with another news update. Recently, Maddie Pacquiao built a thousand new homes in the Philippines, which will help over 1,500 families. You go, Maddie! Texas woman Anna Ayala showed the world that you can fight cancer with a smile on your face with her own version of the hashtag Juju on the Bee Challenge. Here's a quick look at the video. These girls looking at me, skinny jeans on, and you know my head. Don't stop, ay, don't stop, ay, don't stop, ay, run a man on that beat, 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 okay. nah, do your dance, do your dance, do your dance, ay, you ugly, you your daddy's son, ay, ay, do your dance, go crazy, 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 Kobe. That's when I was here, right? Yeah. Man, Kobe was cool. I like Tiger House, though. Oh, Tiger Woods? Time? No, oh, Tiger, Tiger Rapper. Oh, I yeah. thought you said no, Tiger yeah, Woods. No, we, had, we had did a, that was like our first, like, hip-hop, like, catering gig, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, but through some real niggas, like, <laughs> that hired us, you know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. Um, yeah, we was at Tiger House for a pool party. That sh it was wild, homie. It was like, <laughs> first day we had celebrity real, like, yeah, real celebrities, like, you know. Behind the scene, like. Yeah. Now, when Kobe ate y'all plate and he commented on it, how did that make you guys feel? I was just. Like, that's Kobe Bryant. Yeah, I, that's, I was soaking it in. I was soaking it in. I'm like, damn, he don't, you know what I'm saying? Like, from what I know, he's not a, you know, yeah. person like, he kind of serious. Like, <laughs> well, at least I thought he was, but no, nah, he was cool as ice, man. And everything, and, um, yeah, man, I was just happy like that was like you know because i'll be going from this is this is our jordan you feel me like mm -hmm. this is our era you know what i'm saying this is the greatest player in our age you know what i'm saying so to meet him after he didn't retired and everything now he's chilling that. and then he actually liked the fool he, we, he asked for another one yeah i seen that i think he took some home yeah that's big that's big i honestly think y'all could use my talents i could chef oh, it up but i only right. specialize in breakfast Oh, Eggs, right. grilled cheese, bacon, sausage. We're we'll hiring for the trap kitchen brunch coming up. Oh, when is that? We're gonna we put it together right now. Yeah, you trap kitchen brunch the host. Yeah, let's do it. Yes, chef. And if y'all want me to, if y'all want me to uh, try out beforehand, we can get that together and whatnot too. Yeah. Then we gotta taste it. Yeah. yeah. Chicken? Can I fry chicken? Sure. No, I only specialize in breakfast, so eggs, grilled cheese. Put no chicken in your breakfast? Uh-uh. Oh, yeah, okay. Y'all got to teach me that part. Oh, yeah, I thought you was on, bro. Nah, nah, I ain't oh, there yeah, yet. I fry some chicken, though. Let's do it. Fries on, <laughs> Let's do it. Now, what made y'all want to make the prices lower than what they usually be in, like, five-star restaurants? Because everybody don't can't afford that. But, I mean, that don't mean they, they shouldn't have a good food experience, dining experience, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. They might can't get all the way to motherfucking Ruth Chris from Beverly Hills and they live in Watts, you feel me? But we're going to pull up to your doorstep with some steak and mashed potatoes and asparagus, you know what I'm saying? For how shrimp. much? Ten dollars. Ten dollars? Ten to twenty-five dollars. <laughs> you see it went up. Yeah. <laughs> see what you get for twenty-five dollars, you're going to get some crab legs, you might get a piece of salmon, steak, and chicken, and shrimp on there. Do you guys have a, a dream venue you guys want to cater? Mm-hmm. I do. What is it? You want to go first? No, you go ahead. Oh, right before Obama checks, man. Wow. Um, yeah, I would love to go cater in the White House, though. Cook them some gumbo and some fried chicken. <laughs> they not going to allow that at the White House. What? Well, that's why it's a dream. Right? I dream big. Yeah, maybe they might call. I might get a call. You never know. For real, for real. Obama, Obama right get now. us. Obama, man, who, who we need to speak to, man? Who in charge, man? <laughs> who, who do they need to talk to? Uh, they need a pineapple bowl. Who's the White House chef? Michelle probably his chef. She That's who y'all need to get at. She probably Come get on. down. Oh. They didn't have her. <laughs> you know, she like, uh, 
she helped uh, all the school districts change their diet. She did? Yeah. She has something to do with it. Like, I don't know. I ain't been in school in eight million years, years, but yeah, I heard that she, she switched up, made her more healthy. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Michelle. Shout out to Michelle Obama and the, the rest of the family. We love what you guys doing. And hopefully y'all get Trap Kitchen in there to chef something up for y'all. What about your dream, bro? Your dream, Obama. Yeah, you hear me? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm trying to get Obama? Somebody else, too. Oh, some rappers. Yeah. Some rappers. A couple rappers, a couple yeah. NBA players. But that can happen, though. That's, that's not too much big of a dream these days. Now, with you guys being from where you guys from, what inspired y'all to be cooks? Because it's not common you see Kids growing up wanting to be chefs from Compton. Throwing parties, man. I should throw parties. And we have music, drink. You get hungry, you know what I'm saying? You don't want to leave the party, though. You don't want to go to Jack yeah. in the Box or, you know what I'm saying? McDonald's. So, but we got in this, I would go in your fridge or your freezer, and I'm trying to figure out what you got in here that I can whip up. <laughs> you was cooking at house parties? What was I? Could you yeah. stop them? <laughs> you going in the, uh, from homegirl's house, banging the refrigerator, he got the <laughs> chicken, yeah, whatever else, he about to get the meal, skewers, what? man, we, we going up, you know what I'm saying, and then, this reaction from the girls, they, they like that, yeah. you know what I'm saying, so, okay, it's working for me, okay, you know what I'm saying, I'm young, and then I just, like, really took it serious, because I was getting in trouble, and my mom was like, you gotta do something, you gotta, you gotta do something, you know what I'm saying, you can try to show, you gonna end up dead or in jail, and so, I saw the Cordon on Blue commercial, you know what I'm saying, on TV, and I asked her, like, you think that's cool? She's like, yeah, you know what I'm saying? And then I was still thinking about it, but she had already signed me up for her school, like, you know what I'm saying? So I mom plays a big part in all oh, this. Oh, yeah, man. Yeah, she does. Especially with our company, though. Like, she keep us tight, man. She did the paperwork right. That's you good. Shout out to moms, Shout man. Shout out to moms, man. Mom Duke, man. She take care of all the paperwork and everything? We legit, you know what I'm saying? That's big. Well, if you guys could leave a message to some inspiring fans of y'all's, what would y'all say? Keep at it. And don't be a follower, man. Too many too many people want to follow everybody else. Like, uh, be a leader. You know what I'm saying? Step out of line, even if you get in trouble. You know what I'm saying? When you stay in class and the teacher tell you don't step out of line, you step out of line, sometimes that might work for you. You know what I'm saying? And don't listen to nobody that tell you that you can't do it, okay? There's going to be a lot of no's. You're going to hear no all the time. But... Those yeses, those are the ones that count, so say that. Well, you heard it here. Always be a leader. Don't take no for an answer. And remember, always dream big. You start to feel the vibrations of the storms beneath your feet. The time is now and today's the day.